I'm recording two videos back to back, so I've remained dressed in the same uh, clothes, but I will uh, release them at different times. Um, but this video is uh, about something else the Lord has just recently uh, revealed and quickened to me. Uh, so I wanted to go ahead and get this recorded. Um, but it's in, it was a couple of mornings ago that uh, he just arrested me with, uh, in a scripture that I was reading. And this was in Hebrews 11, 2. For by it, faith, the men of old gained approval or obtained a testimony. Hebrews 11, 4. By faith, Abel offered to God a better sacrifice than Cain, through which he obtained the testimony that he was righteous, God testifying about his gifts. Verse 5, By faith Enoch was taken up so that he should not see death, and he was not found because God took him up, for he obtained the witness or the testimony that before his being uh, taken up, he was pleasing to God. Hebrews 11, 39. And all these heroes of the faith, all these having gained approval or obtained a testimony through their faith, so forth. Uh, actually, it goes on to say they didn't actually obtain the promise because God intended something better for them than apart from us, uh, they wouldn't fully uh, enter into their inheritance. But, but the key here that the Holy Spirit just arrested me on was that, be, that through their faith and the trials that they suffered, the things that they overcame, uh, the things that the Lord took them through, uh, through the successful passing of the test, they obtained a testimony. Now, who did they obtain a testimony from? Uh, not their fellow man. Uh, maybe they did, but that's not what Scripture is saying. They're saying that they obtained a testimony from God himself. God testified. They obtained a testimony from God. And then I was reminded of Revelation 12, 11, that we have overcome Satan by the blood of the Lamb and the word of of our testimony or the word of testimony and and we have not loved our lives even unto death so I had to look at that again and I found that in Aramaic uh, Aramaic I'm sorry Aramaic um, in Revelation 12 11 uh, instead of saying uh, it was their testimony it says his testimony or the testimony of Jesus the testimony of of God. And they overcame him, Satan, because of the blood of the Lamb and because of the word of his testimony, according to, to the Aramaic translation. So that really put a different spin on things. So I started um, thinking, well, Lord, uh, where else in Scripture do you actually give testimony uh, about us, about a man? And one of the places is in Job, the book of Job, Job 1. Um, there came a day, it says, that the sons of, of God, you know, the, the angels, the Satan, uh, appeared before God. And God asked Satan where he had been. And he said, I've been walking around the earth, you know, seeking whatever, whom I may devour. That's not what scripture says there. But anyway, uh, and so God testified about Job in verse 8. He said, And the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? For there is no one like him on the earth, a blameless man, an upright man, fearing God and turning away from evil. So God himself was testifying or giving testimony about Job. Um, isn't that interesting? And then in Zechariah, uh, this is Zechariah 3, then he showed me Joshua, the high priest. This is not the Joshua in, uh, uh, that goes to uh, uh, you know Jericho and so forth. Then he showed me Joshua, the high priest, 
standing before the angel of the Lord, who I think was Jesus, and Satan standing at his right hand to accuse him. So that's what the enemy is doing. In the courts of heaven, the enemy is constantly bringing accusations uh, before the Lord, before the courts of heaven. And if he can find anything against us, then he has a case that he can bring, uh, and, and he can bring destruction into our lives. So Satan was standing at his right hand to accuse him. And the Lord said to Satan, so here's the testimony or the witness in the courts of heaven. The Lord said to Satan, the Lord rebuke you, Satan. Indeed, the Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebuke you. Is this not a brand plucked from the fire? So God himself, Jesus, who is our advocate, as we know, um, testified and was giving testimony. No, you know, take your hands off uh, this person uh, that is representing uh, Jerusalem to me. Uh, no, this is a brand I've plucked from the fire. Uh, the Lord rebuke you, Satan. Um, so, so there are a number of instances in Scripture. Uh, and then I was remembering in 1 John, there is a testimony or a testifying in heaven as there is on earth. And these need to be and should be in agreement. That's the only way that there's any power to them that would overcome the enemy by the blood of the Lamb. It's this testimony that is being uh, testified or the witness in heaven and the witness on earth. And of course, we give witness on earth. God testifies in heaven. Do you see how powerful that is? So this is 1 John 5, and who, starting in verse 5. And who is the one who overcomes the world? But he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ. Not with the water only, but with the water and the blood. And it is the Spirit who bears witness, because the Spirit is the truth. For there are three that bear witness on earth, the Spirit and the water and the blood, and the three are in agreement. And there are three that bear witness in heaven. And then it goes on to say what uh, uh, bears witness in heaven. And, and the three are in agreement. If we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater. So there's a witness of men of, or man on earth, but there's a witness of God in heaven. And the two, and of course that's the greater witness, uh, and the two must be in agreement. So, this is a lot to meditate on, but, but I felt that it was powerful. So, what does the Lord say about you? What, what is the witness that you have obtained so far on this earth by passing the test that, that you've been through? Um, the Lord uh, should have quickened that to you. Uh, there have been a number of times that I've recorded in my journals uh, where the Lord has said he was pleased with me uh, or has said a certain thing about me or uh, uh, about something. Uh, and I've recorded those things. And, and, and what I came to realize is he's giving testimony. Uh, he, I have obtained a testimony uh, from Almighty God. And he and Jesus are testifying in the courts of heaven according to what has happened upon the earth. And so I'm testifying and they are testifying. So take some time before the Lord. Um, uh, let him show you uh, what testimony you have obtained, uh, what testimony you've obtained because of a passing a, a test, uh, uh, going through successfully a trial, maintaining your faith, uh, standing firm when all else about you is, is falling apart uh, and coming against you. So ask the Lord, Lord, what testimony have I obtained? What are you speaking about me in the courts of heaven, 
in the heavenly courts. Uh, and then I will speak the same thing in agreement on the earth that by two things, the witness of two, a matter may be established that truly, truly, you have overcome Satan by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of his testimony, and you have not loved your own life even unto death. In Jesus' name, amen.